what happened was uh, during the Pol Pot regime, she was uh, in her home with her family when soldiers burst into their house. She dove under the bed, went far underneath the bed, and the soldiers slaughtered the rest of her family. When I was an eight-year-old girl, I put myself to sleep at night uh, pretending that I was a very wealthy lady and that I had the ability to take care of poor orphans all over the world. Uh, I think we all know uh, that there's a lot of people in the world, some two billion, who don't have clean water available to them. Well, that's kind of a depressing thought to me. Um, and what we've done is for the last uh, more than 10 years is uh, we've contributed significantly to projects that offer clean water to people. And it's remarkable the difference that makes in those people's lives. What's starting to happen now is it's starting to affect the second generation of people who have been receiving the water because the kids are now going to school and getting an education. One of the very first students has just graduated from the university. This university grad has come back to his village armed with education. It's kind of ridiculous how little money it takes in the third world to make a huge difference. One of the basic concepts that we have at H2O, uh, that, actually that we have as people, not at H2O, you know, H2O is our company, it's us, right? Uh, one of the basic concepts that we have as people is that givers get. Um, and, and we've proven that to be true big time in our lives, big time in our business. was filled with $70,000 worth of pharmaceuticals. The total was 9000 that was needed to ship that container. And we had it. One, one of the things that we're involved in in the city of St. Catharines is a program called Out of the Cold. Throughout the winter, which houses the homeless in the city. They don't get any money from us. Uh, they don't get any water from us. They get our time. What could be more valuable than your time, right? We also support community care, which provides food and clothing. It's not necessarily for people who don't have a home, it's for people who, you know, there's more month than there is money. Uh, H2 only customers know if they leave bags of clothing and blankets and boots, along with their empty bottles, we will pick them up and we will bring them to either the YWCA uh, or community care or to Out of the Cold. Neighbors get. It's a very nice life here. Because of you, a family in Cambodia is finally able to pay their medical bills because they have earned enough from selling produce from their well-irrigated garden. Because of you, disease rates are dropping. Because of you, a young girl is able to attend school rather than walk for hours to collect dirty water. These scenarios are playing out every day because of your many gifts. Thank you for literally making the wildest dreams of the poor a reality. Thank you for giving in order to create real miracles in the lives of very real and very grateful people. Actually, go back over there, Luke, and now that just look at you. Yeah, get in the shot. <laughs> How about that? <laughs>